everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today is day six of Flossmas. Welcome. Welcome. Today's going to be a really short update as I'm afraid I have very little to share with you but I will try. <laughs> Are we going to do this again? I'm going to try to share as much as I can. Today we get a normal mug. Uh, this is one of my my usual sets. It is. You want to tell them about it? That's my dog Luna, by the way. She's mouthy. She serves as comedic relief. <laughs> anyway, coffee, the last dregs of coffee. Today's observances are, come here, we'll tell them, come on. Today is National Gazpacho Day. It's delicious. You should try it if you haven't. National Miners Day, St. Nicholas Day. Did you know it's St. Nicholas Day? A lot of people around the world celebrate St. Nicholas Day. It's very special. Um, Dia de la Constitución in Spain, uh, when the democracy happened. Uh, it's also, ooh, wrong, I pressed, uh-oh. I pressed a button by mistake. Finland Independence Day, Foundation of Quito Day, it's King Bumibol's birthday, uh, he is the king of Thailand, Mitten Tree Day, uh, the National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women, because gender-based violence is a thing. It's also <laughs> National Microwave Day, I don't have a microwave, fun fact. Um, National Pawn Broker Day. It's also National Travis Day. Do we have any Travises? <laughs> Shout out in the comments. Breathe. Put on your own shoes day. What? Who comes up with these? Um, so yeah, today is December 6th and it is Wednesday. Are you good? Today's Diamond Art Club Diamond Painting uh, Advent Calendar had our first diamond painting of the box, and it is this. It is a Peanuts legally licensed uh, limited edition painting, actually, and I actually love this, and I will do it. Um, it is a very small, 9 inch by 11.4 inches, uh, very easy to do, round drill diamond art kit. And if you're interested in diamond painting, please check out my, uh, my main channel, which is Rachel Ray Craft, because I talk about diamond painting a lot over there. <laughs> so that's our diamond painting of the day. Can I put you down now? Can I put you down? Is it okay? get all of the all of the attention that you wanted I hope so oh I think she just pooted lovely <sighs> asylum fibers no the fiber fox day six um, I am absolutely loving this fade Maybe tomorrow I will string up the first seven and then we can look at them all together. I have avoided Instagram this morning just to be sure to be sure that I didn't get spoiled on anything. Ooh! Her post yesterday said that we are going into the golden part of this calendar. We're moving into the gold part of the calendar. So this is a sock yarn with, um, it is, words, merino, nylon, stellina. Look at the speckles, that is so pretty. And it's the stellina, and this one is gold. I'm a sucker for things that are sparkly. When I discovered Stellina yarn, I was like, oh, why wouldn't I want it to sparkle? 
right? Day six on Asylum Fibers uh, Halloween Countdown Beyond the Smoke. You can see we've gone from dark green to gray. What is day six gonna be? Also, I lost my nail on my right hand, which is making it a lot easier to open this calendar. I'm gonna give you the first look. Ooh, so it's a little bit darker again, I think. get it out of there. Oh, it's got a, a little bit of blue in it and the Stellina is barely visible, sadly. That's the only thing about this advent. If I had crit crit blah, blah, blah. criticism about the yarn, it's the, the Stellina does not really show up. I don't know if it's, you know, the people manufacturing the bases or what. It's not, it's not Asylum Fiber's fault. <clears throat> that's a beautiful color. I love that kind of light blue tonal. It's very pretty. That's the row all together. Gorgeous. I I really do think this will make a, a good blanket. The Radvent throw? I think it would. Or, or, I might crochet it. I enjoy crocheting blankets more than knitting them. So maybe I could find a crochet pattern that's kind of similar in style, in look, you know, to the Radvent. Basically, it's like, I don't want to do granny squares necessarily. If you have ideas for a, I'll put a picture up there, um, for something that looks like this that's crochet, please let me know what the name of the pattern or the designer or whatever is in the comment section. I don't know if it'll let you post links. Okay, and then that's one, two, three, right? So Royal did not come in the mail today, sadly. Um, I was in training, obviously, <laughs> this morning, um, and I checked, and it's still not there, and I paid the customs fees on the first, so I'm a little bit upset because what's going on? Anyway, soon, soon. <laughs> uh, day six of Hannah's Mystery Cell. It's a gorgeous pink envelope. Is this, is this a hint at what color is to come? Y'all are gonna be flabbergasted in a moment when I show you the project. Um, so a subscriber of mine sent me this thoughtful gift and it's, oh, yes. This is the color of the day, Dusty Rose, 961. If this is what I think it is, it is, okay, wonderful. Um, this is, <laughs> if I do this tonight, it's gonna be really, really obvious um, what it is. If you haven't guessed it already, which feel free, feel free to leave your guess as to what this is in the comments. But if you're just checking in or tuning in for the first time, hi, hello, how's it going? Um, my name is Rachel and this is Chaos. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about it. There's something missing. <laughs> you can see the ghost of it. freaking annoyed. So I sat down and as, as I said I would, I sat down with the, with a Christmas Carol, the Muppets Christmas Carol, and I started counting using the PDF. I started counting between the elements and I realized that I had 
counted. I had done it wrong. Uh, it was wrong between the red and the white up here. It was wrong between these two bubbles here. It was wrong between this bubble and where the blue was supposed to go. So I spent the entire second half of the movie just frogging. The first half was, um, I, w I was very busy with videos yesterday. So um, yesterday was a work heavy day. But <clears throat> back to square two, not square one, but square two on that project. Um, it's fine. I'll keep going. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to have to, um, really sit with it and give it a lot of attention. This project I haven't touched since I talked about it and I didn't show it to you. This is the modern folk embroidery and ever totes holiday countdown of 2022, which I started, but I did not get to finish during the Sal. Due to life. Because that happens. Especially around this time of year, y'all. Please, please, please. The PSA is please do not put undue pressure on yourself for your crafting. You're going to burn yourself out. Don't do it. All right. Lots of hanging thread here. But here it is. almost finished on this side. There's just one more little motif in the bottom corner here. So right in the middle, there's another motif. But I tried really hard to match up the color on both sides so that it was a mirror, sort of a mirror on the inside bits, but then uh, exactly the same on both sides for those um, little triangles and stuff. I think it did okay. And the deets on this, this is Be Stitch Me, 16 count Ada in April showers, and the um, floss is a Silks For You hank that I got from a Christmas box a year, two years ago, two years ago. 2021's Christmas. And if you can hear a voice in the background, I'm really sorry. Um, my husband works from home. So it's kind of, yeah. Um, I did not knit yesterday. Like I said, I was really busy with work getting Flossmas. Uh, I filmed a whip and chat for my main channel, which is where I diamond paint and chit chat about my life. And then I also edited, uploaded, and published a diamond painting video for the main channel, which I have been really excited about and kind of sitting on. There is a giveaway in that video. So if you're a diamond painter, you might want to watch it until the end. Um, and it's super exciting to be able to, to do something like that for the channel because I haven't really been able to do much about anything <laughs> anywhere for a couple of months, if not years. Um, so yeah, getting back in the swing of things. Uh, other than that, let's see. The goal for today is to um, do all of the life stuff that I need to do today, but then I will be sitting down to craft. <laughs> And I would really like to focus on the stitching today. And uh, when I am finished in here, I'm going to do that in here where there's good lighting. And then um, for the evening at around 8 o'clock, like after dinner, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to knit on my Adventuresome Wrap so that we have another color to look at tomorrow. And tomorrow I am free. I do not have training. I don't have training until next Monday. So I am going to have more time to spend at crafting and working uh, as I do. So I hope you will continue to join me for the daily videos. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope it's not too much. I know it's a lot on the feed, but excuse me, I do enjoy making them. So I've just looked up and seen that it's 15 minutes. <laughs> Dear. So uh, thank you all so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, all of those things. I really appreciate it. Your support helps me keep going and keep this as my main entertainment source for you. <laughs>
if that makes sense. So thank you so much for watching and take care and stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.